we've got to start with what is given to us in the paragraph and then we've got to look to see what that gives us in the diagram. So we're told that AB is a diameter. Before I move on, I need to see what a diameter gives me. A diameter subtends 90 degrees. Okay, does that give me anything else? Well, strangely, this 90 degrees is on a straight line with another angle, right? So that means that D3 is also 90 degrees. A diameter can also give me a center and it can also give me radii. There was a center here, but it didn't really help. It didn't give me any of the things that having a center normally gives one. So I've dealt with the fact that AB is a diameter and there's not much more that I can see right now. Maybe I'll double back later. Then EA is a tangent. I always like to go over the tangent again and just make it a little longer. Okay, why do you think they gave us that center? Because we've got tan red. Just, I think, to alert us to the fact that we have that. Okay, so there's another 90 degrees coming along there. Okay. So the tangent could also give me tan chord. And there's only one. So I'm only looking at two tangenty things, which is tan red, tan chord. Okay, so tan chord would give me a one being the same as, oh, the X. Okay, so they've called this X, that's fine, I'm going over it. But that means my A1 is X because of tan chord. Okay. And then B1 is X and E is Y, that's already put down, okay. So now I need to look at what I'm asked to do I'm supposed to name one other angle that is the same as X. Okay, so that's fine. That angle is angle A1 because we got it while looking at the information from the diagram. So A1 equals X and my reason there was tan chord. The second thing I've got to do is I've got to show that A2 equals Y. Whenever I've got to show something or prove something, my mind thinks about left hand side, right hand side. And I think about what is A2 also equal to and what is Y also equal to. And if I then split that Okay, this isn't how you have to do it, but my mind wants to do this. I want to say, what is A2 equal to? What is Y equal to? And then can they maybe equal each other at some point if I just work with what A2 and Y are separate? So let me start with A2. Okay, A2. What's going on with A2? A2 is in this neat little triangle. Let me highlight that. A2 is in the yellow triangle and the yellow triangle's got a 90 and it's got an X. So within that triangle, what I've got is that A2 plus my 90 plus X, that equals 180, right? and that would be interior angles of a triangle. Okay, I see there's an X there, but I am expecting to use X's, so that's okay. What I'm going to do now is make A2 the subject of the formula and then see if that goes anywhere and then perhaps look at Y. So A2 then equals 180 minus the 90, which is 90, and then moving the X to the other side, it's going to go 90 minus X. Okay, that doesn't go any further. By the way, just have a look here. I could have said A2 equals 90 minus X because of tan red. That probably would have been easier. I've only just seen that now. Okay, what about Y? Let's have a look. There's Y over there by angle E. 
Okay, what else could Y be? Y is in this really big triangle. I'm going to go over the outline of the big triangle. Y is in the pink triangle. So I do need to justify what's going on there. If you can see that Y plus the angle by A1 and A2, the tan rad angle, plus the X, they also equal 180, so I'm in a very similar position. Okay, what I have just realized is this 90 over here by A2, that needed to get justified. So I'm going to sneak a little reason in over here, and I'm going to say angle in a semicircle. I'll try and make Y a little more user-friendly. So with Y, I've also got to justify the 90. So for, for angle Y, I'm going to start off by saying angle A1 plus A2 equals 90. And my reason for that is tan red. And then I'm going to look at the, the big triangle. Okay, so I'm going to actually state the triangle. I didn't do it with the last one, but this is useful. So I'm just showing you different skills that might be helpful. In triangle A, E, B, Y plus the 90 plus the X, that's all going to equal 180. Okay, and then solving for Y, I've got Y equals 180 minus 90, which gives me 90. And then when the X moves to the other side, I'm going to go minus X. So y equals 90 minus x, therefore a2 equals y. The last thing I've got to do in this question is name another angle that equals y. So obviously I've got a2 as y, let me put that in. Okay, and I need to think now what else? can y be equal to? And this was a bit tricky because you had to look at a cyclic quad. Can you see there the one I've gone over in purple? And these are the ones that are tricky to see as cyclic because all four points are on the circumference. And nothing in the question actually suggested we needed to look at that. So this was a bit of looking around basically. Can you see there that y is an angle in the cyclic quad, okay? And then the same cyclic quad, its opposite angle would be C2. So you could do opposite angles and then angles in a straight line. Or you could see there that's now the exterior angle of the cyclic quad. So the answer we're looking for here is that C1 is equal to y because it's the exterior angle of that cyclic quad.